Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how the system works with Creo cabling or what is the structure and what is the details and what is necessary to prepare if you would like to start to work with Creo cabling. So as you can see over here I have a main assembly and this main assembly I have downloaded from the grabcat.com so if you would like to you are able to download the free model and use it. Yeah, and then what I have prepared is the directly the 3D model. So if you can see here, it's a assembly and created with some necessary objects. And a couple of objects I have deleted. And for example, here through this component, what you can see here, I'd like to place the some cables or wires. What does it mean? You have to create the separate subassembly, and the best practice is that you will create the subassembly, for example, with name the cables or cable. And then I would like to open it, and you will see what is directly here. As you can see, that in this assembly is directly placed only the cables, wires, and your cabling and spools and so on. So, but. As you can see here, you need to place the cables on some surfaces and some references. So what is necessary to do is necessary to prepare the assembly. And in the assembly structure, I have created first component. And in this first component was some data copied. So I create a copy geometry. And over here, I'd like to mention that I have found that it is possible to make a copy of the three different ways in the nearest tutorial, I will start with this logic, how to create a copy geometry. But let's continue. So you are able to make a copy of necessary surfaces or you will create the necessary axis. And if you have a geometry prepared, then what you need to do is prepare the pin because the cables and wires has to start from some points or some starting coordinate system. So you are able to create and prepare the pin. Pin, for now, if I will show you quickly, it's really simple component, yeah? So I created simple reveal feature, but what is necessary? Z orientation of the coordinate system is orientated outside. So what does it mean? If you would like to place the cable, the system will use the orientation of the Z axis from the coordinate system and the logic is there really similar to the piping. What you can do is that you can change the name. So for example, you can call it port and then use this port for the placement of the cables and wires. You have here the 3D model, which are definite as the surfaces. I don't want to see it, I can hide. And then we can switch off the axis and coordinate system and at the end is the latest object and is the harness. In this harness, as you can see, the system will create and collect the necessary information for, for the Creo cabling and it's a spool and then definition of the wires and then location of the cables. So in the next tutorial, first of all, I like to focus how you can create a copy of the geometry because you don't want to have a mess in your assembly and you would like to manage your assembly with the logic and I hope so that you will like this logic what I will show you and also we would like to have for example placement of the coordinate system and axis points and an additional datum feature then we will create quickly the pin models so where you would like to place and start the cables and at the end i will show you in the next couple of tutorials how to work with the harness and how to define spools how to define colors of the cables and how to locate let's see stay tuned and see you next time bye bye vladimir